I will be seeking your vote, first within my party, the National Resistance Movement, as its flag bearer, and later on in the whole country. He kept the country in anticipation of his big announcement for a number of months. Then the right time he had promised came, and Amama Mbabazi unveiled his presidential ambitions. But many were surprised when Mbabazi said he would seek the nomination of the ruling party to be its presidential candidate. A lecturer of political science, Richard Okira, believes that Mbabazi's timing was right. He's coming up has been long overdue. The way he has been treated, we knew one time he would say what he said yesterday. Another political science don, Dr. Sabiti Makara of Makere University, believes that Mbabazi was coerced to sign the Chankwanzi resolution on the sole candidature. So he decided to make a mark to make his announcement on new media where many youth were hooked. The electronic media uh, has been Mbabazi's way of doing politics as well, uh, which he really uh, goes beyond the NRM way of doing things. He has so many people following him on the Twitter and the Facebook and other social media and this has endeared him with the youth using the the movement system they have their, their party it has been blocked definitely he had only one parameter to use that's the media to come in now the reaction will have to come from the other side but he has done his cards quite well i think he never broke the law these political pundits also argue that in Mbaba's sticking with NRM and not walking away, he made the correct calculation, never mind that what awaits him in there may not be clear. For him to, to stand under NRM <coughs> is better, because he has the support there. But I think he's also going to wait to see the alliance, whether it's going to materialize, never know. Okiria adds that Mbabazi remaining in NRM party gains because letting him go out would be counterproductive. Some critics, including President Choi Museven, have rubbished Mbabazi's promise of a new beginning, saying he was part of the system for 30 years and shares its success and failures. The analysts say Mbabazi was bound by the principle of collective responsibility. And he would do what the president directs him to do. So you cannot say in the 30 years you have not done this or done, done that because he can only say what the president and the cabinet has approved. So this is his time now if he wants to say something new. But one thing that analysts agree on is that Mbabazi may probably present the most credible challenge so far to President Chom Seven if he declares he would seek the NRM ticket for the presidency in 2016. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.